When Vanderbilt's head coach was told the kicker had COVID, he decided to replace him with a girl. The team lost 41 nothing, and he got fired. <laughs> So, yeah, over the weekend, they made a girl play football. I'm not being mean. I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm sure she's lovely. But they made a girl play football, I guess, to appease China or to listen to China. Money kickbacks from China. We're still looking into it. But on a scale of no to yes, how sure are we that China is ruining football by putting girls in? It's on the other side of maybe. Just going to say that. It's on the other side of maybe. So the girls never played football before, um, but that didn't stop the head coach from thinking she'd be the best person to pick when in reality you can literally solve this in 15 minutes of practice. You could just say, hey, has anyone ever kicked before? And like 10 guys' hands will go up. And I'll go, all right, kick from here. Okay, you three are the best ones, and then you two. Okay, so it's you three. You're the kicker now just for this one week. You don't need to bring in a girl. You don't need to go talk to the women's soccer team about anything. You have you have the players, so you don't. We don't need a girl. We don't need a girl for any of this. Trust. Now, I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean. I'm not being offensive. I don't hate women. I'm not being bitter. I'm not threatened. I don't think she's gonna come beat me up. I'm sure, sure there's a girl out there that can beat me up. That's fine. But I'm, I'm just saying it's like and and ladies, to be honest, I'm looking out for you. I'm trying to protect you. You don't want to be on kickoff against Missouri. You don't want to be in an, playing in an SEC football game ever, any position ever. This is what can happen to a kicker. And that happened to a guy. That's a guy, and he got flipped over like that. Now imagine a girl. Not being mean. Not being mean. This is her kick. Not being mean. History <laughs> is on the field in Columbia, Missouri. I'm sure she's a lovely. I'm sure she's a lovely girl. She's a great soccer player. As Sarah Fuller is about to put her right foot into a football, speaking volumes to women around the world. Awesome. So here's her kick, I'm not being mean. 20 yards, anyone can do that. And some people are saying there's a squib kick. They go, oh, it was a squib kick. And then, okay, if it's a squib kick, why need girl do that? Why need girl do squib kick? Anyone do squib kick? I thought we'd bring girl in because she's a special kicker. No. As soon after the game, Hillary Clinton <laughs> tweeted about it. This is what she said. <laughs> You made history today. The first female to ever play in a Power 5 football game. What emotions are you feeling now that you've reached such a milestone? Honestly, it's just so exciting. And the fact that I can represent, like, the little girls out there who wanted to do this or, you know, thought about playing football or any sport, really. And it encourages them to be able to step out and do something big like this. So it's awesome. This is pure COVID backwards world PR stunt. Obviously, history is made today. And it's like, was it or did you just make it? Did you make history or did you just force history down everyone's throat this weekend? You made it. You created it. So that's great. Um... But the problem is with this whole thing is like there's like a second wave of delusion that comes along with it. So she goes in, she gets the make a wish treatment, that's fine. But then after there's like the second wave of delusion where she gets the SEC co player of the week, special teams player of the week. How did you get that? You kicked one time and it went twenty yards, it wasn't even a good kick. You lost your team lost forty one to nothing. You got an award? I'm sure there was some other kid in the league who had a great week, and it's just like, oh, I didn't get the award this week because they gave it to Deb. But that second wave of delusion is like how they almost write history. Because then you look back and be like, oh, women play football. And you say, oh, yeah, she had this great kick and came in and helped Vanderbilt during the pandemic. And you're just like rewriting the thing. And then the New York Times does their little lim liberal limousine drive-by in football. And says, oh, yeah, football's a sport where girls can play. And, oh, the game is changing. Everyone's got a mask. And it's just, like, their way of propping up their fake world. Because they live in a world that's primarily theater. And you know who lives in a world that's primarily theater? Richard Ratboy? Muppets. <laughs> so the Muppets love it. The Muppets love when football has a girl in it. Even though the Muppets usually hate football. 
They usually say, oh, it spreads COVID. Everyone has head injuries. Now there's a girl. It's good. Football's good again for the week. Like now they're saying this is the new normal. This is the new normal. And there's a lot of not normal things that are trying to slide in and identify with the new normal. You know, oh, this is the new normal. You have to wear your mask. Got to cover your face. You have to stay inside. Stay away from each other. The government gives you money. You don't have to work. Girls play football. This is the new normal. This is how it's done now. This is how things are. So a lot of not normal things are trying to sneak in and rebrand as normal now that this whole new normal thing is getting rolled out. So there's like an opportunity there for fringe ideas that aren't actually popular like girls playing football and it's kind of sad her i'm sure she's a lovely girl i'm not being mean i'm not being mean i'm sure she's nice lovely her helmet said play like a girl which the team did they lost 41 to nothing coach got fired um and then like we said the circus gave her an award after so basically anyone on the team could have done what she did like that 20 yard squib kick um and I think just to force it in there and make this woman do this, it's like now you're kind of treating her like a make a wish kid. You know, like the kind of like the kid who has a special needs or whatever it is, and they put him in the game and everyone gives him a play and he scores. Like that's kind of what you're doing with women. And then you're saying, oh, this is making history. Look how good women are at whatever this is. And it's actually nothing. And it's like bigotry of low expectations. It's like, hey, women, you're so great. Look how good you are at football, even though no one really tried to hit you or anything. And no matter what you did, we were going to say it was great. Throughout this week, as the story has gained prominence and taken to the headlines, I know you felt a sense of responsibility to use this platform for something bigger than yourself. What message do you hope was conveyed by your involvement today? I mean, I just want to tell like all the girls out there that you can do anything you set your mind to. Like you really can. And if you have that mentality all the way through, like you can do big things. And in this case, there's no glass ceiling. It's not like there's women that like are encroaching and getting closer and closer every year. And there's like a women's league that's just as good. There's, there's never going to be a situation where a woman is probably better than a college football player you have on the team already. The kneeling, now this. It's an attack on an American pastime. So things actually take an even crazier turn. If you thought this was wild, wait to hear this. Um, the girl kicker, who I'm sure is lovely, and I'm not being mean, the girl kicker gave a halftime speech. The team is down, like, I think three or four scores. Yeah, 21 nothing. They're down 21 nothing, And the girl kicker who's been on the team for two days and has never played football before and hasn't even kicked in that game yet, decided to give a speech. There's very few people who can give a speech in a football game like this. You're down by three scores. It's 21 nothing. You know who gives a speech? The head coach, the captain, the middle linebacker who hits like a truck, the kid who's hurt playing with like a torn something in his knee, the kid whose mom died during the season. That's who gives a speech during halftime to pump everyone up. The girl soccer player? Here's some of what she said. If I'm going to be honest, I was a little pissed off at how quiet everyone was on the sidelines. We made a first down, and I was the only one cheering, and I was like, what the heck? What's going on? And I tried to get them pumped up, and I was like, you guys need to start your team on. Imagine being a fifth-year senior in that locker room, and the girl's giving a speech, and you squat like 600 pounds. You've been on the team for five years. You probably had like a ton of injuries. You're getting blown out, and the girl who's been on the team for two days says, we need to get more excited when we make a first down. There's kids on the team that did, like, spring ball and two-a-days at 6 a.m., whatever, and, like, work out all year, and then the girl goes in because ESPN wants to be friends with the New York Times. I'm not being mean, but I do know Chinese propaganda when I see it, and it looks a lot like that. This would be like coming to America from, like, I don't know, Somalia, getting into Congress and being like, this is how you need to do things now. This needs to be different. This is not okay. It would be like that. I don't do girl things. I don't do gymnastics. I don't go into – I don't insert myself into gymnastics. I also don't let people come pluck me and place me into gymnastics. If someone was like, hey, Fleckus, do you want to come do gymnastics and be a hero? I'd say, no, I don't know anything about gymnastics. I'm bad at gymnastics. And if everyone pretends that I'm good and I did great, that would ruin it for people who actually like gymnastics. So I don't, 
I'm not look. I'm not gonna get used either. I'm not saying that's what happened here. I'm not being mean. The girl seems lovely. Whatever her preferred adjectives are, she seems lovely. She seems great. But it wasn't a meritocracy. And then when that happens, now we're just rewarding things to reward things. Oh, a girl played football. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go have a girl fight Mike Tyson. Who's the first girl to ever fight Mike Tyson? We don't need to find out. We don't need to know. We don't need to know these things. Leave the car wrecks and the head-on collisions and the head smashing to the to the men. Unless you're really, really good and you're the best, then go do whatever. But you can't fake it till you make it on this one. All in all, looking back at the information, it smells like a setup. It's like a setup from the jump. She was picked randomly, not based on skill or whatever. She gets placed on this team for two days. She's in the game. She's out of the game. It's just they use COVID and pandemic chaos times as an opportunity to push their Chinese propaganda, to be honest. I know it when I see it, and that's Chinese propaganda. Okay, well, that's enough schizophrenia for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Don't forget, we have to arrest Andrew Cuomo. Very cool merch. Look at that. That is so cool. Sweatshirt, hoodie, Fleckus 15 for 15% off. This one as well. Don't tread on me. Got it? Don't tread on me. Shopflugus.com, best merch in the game. The Clinton's still available. Get it while you still can. Shopflugus.com, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Wow, that woman was so good at football here in normal real world. <laughs> Get my people to you Get all that shit. Like. <laughs> Get Muffy Mumsino out of there.